Hello, I am Mike Terry, and thanks for joining me for this presentation about Francis Cook, one of the passengers on the 1620 Mayfire voyage. This presentation was developed specifically for the Pilgrim Francis Cook Society, or PFCS. The information presented is copyright by Family Tree DNA, or the Pilgrim Francis Cook Society. First, I'm going to do a short overview of some of the PFCS website content and what you need to do to join the Pilgrim Francis Cook Society. Next, I'm going to look at my cousin, William A. Cook's FTDNA profile showing actual information gleaned from his Y-DNA test at Family Tree DNA. The data presented is from Family Tree DNA and the analysis is by me. So if there are any mistakes, they are mine. After the presentation, there will be a brief question and answer period. Rather than going out to the internet live, I copied some of what I thought were the more interesting screens from the PFCS website. This is the home page for the website. From this page, you can navigate to several areas of the website. Let's take a closer look. The Francis Cook Society was first formed in 2003, and the society was reorganized as the Pilgrim Francis Cook Society in 2019 with the new board of directors. It is now officially recognized as a family society by the Mayfire Society. Francis Cook was born in 1583 and died in 1663. We don't know exactly where he was born, however, there are some interesting leads to be mentioned later in the presentation. He married Frances May in Leiden about 1603. They had seven children noted as John, Jane, Elizabeth, Jacob, Hester, Mary, and an, unborn, and an unknown child. Hester outlived Frances and died after 1666. In the Y-DNA portion of the presentation, we will see the name Jacob a lot because only Jacob Cook had sons, and his brother John only had daughters, and only males have a Y-DNA chromosome. Next, we're going to look at uh, an event on the web page. By way of introduction, I'm Mike Terry. I'm standing on the left with the DNA tie, and that's uh, Janie Groves Rydell Hurt on the right, uh, the gov current Governor General of the Mayfire Society, and she gave a presentation at the Oklahoma Society of Mayfire Descendants in May. I'm also the uh, DNA Project Administrator for the Pilgrim Francis Cook Society and also the Mayfire Society. There are several famous descendants of Francis Cook listed on the website. I want to show a couple of uh, that were my favorites. One of the famous descendant lines of Francis Cook noted is President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, one of my favorites in my family as well. My mother's parents worked for the WPA and my father as a youth worked for the CCC during the 1930s. To balance things out, both Presidents George Herbert Walker Bush and George W. Bush were also de descendants of Francis Cook. This shows a line of descent from Francis Cook to the Beach Boys Band. My children and grandchildren are about as proud of this connection as they are of the Mayflower connection. There are several other connections to famous persons on the website. I would encourage you to check them out. Next, we will look at the lineages section of the PFCS website. Approved lines must come from one of the children of Francis Cook who had descendants. For example, we will look at one of the Mayflower Society and PFCS lines out of the son of Jacob Cook. Currently, we are showing 11 approved lines out of Jacob Cook and we will look at my approved line as one example. When you click on Robert Mike Terry, 
my line to Francis Cook is shown. We do not show parents or grandparents for privacy reasons. An interesting note is that is I have four Jacobs in my line, and if you are related in any of these generations to me, this would be helpful if you wish to join the Mayfire Society or the Pilgrim Francis Cook Society. The proven line showing on the website extend beyond the fifth or sixth generation shown in the current silver book for Francis Cook. Next, we're going to look at contacts. The current board members are Charles Willard, Andrew R. Whipple, Ann Wilkerson, Diana Serio, Mark Asheville, and Mike Terry. Diana has been the longest serving board member, and Andrew Whipple might be familiar as he is the current editor of the Mayfire Quarterly Magazine. You will notice several of us are filling more than one position. If you are interested in volunteering for one of the positions, please contact President Charles Willard. Next, we will, we will look at the membership section of PFCS website. There are three categories of membership in the PFCS. They are society, life, and associate. You must be 18 years of age in each case. Society and life members may serve on boards or committees and have voting privileges. And in each case, you must have an approved PFCS application and paid the required fees and dues as applicable. Applications must be submitted on approved PFCS forms and must be, be accompanied by the required fees and dues. They must be accompanied by documentation for each generation from you back to Francis Cook. The GSMDs Mayfire Families Through Five Generation Volumes and Mayfire Families in Progress or future editions thereof may be used to document the generations of descent from Pilgrim Francis Cook. If you are a member of the Mayfire Society on Francis Cook, just scan your application and send that in with the appropriate PFCS form. All society and associate members are subject to annual membership dues. Society members are $20, life members are a one-time $200 fee, and associate members are $10. A one-time $25 non-refundable fee is required if you are a first-time applicant who does not have a Mayfire Society approved application. There are two PFCS approved forms to use. The top one is for those with Mayfire approved Francis Cook applications. And the second one is, is for those who do not have an approved Mayfire Society application. Both applications are Adobe PDF forms, which you can download and fill in the information, and either email to the membership secretary or you can use regular mail. Next up is the genealogy section. Here you will find reminders to submit your approved Mayfire applications to Diana Serio, the PFCS Society genealogist, with notes and sources for possible publication. The last part has a link to the Pilgrim Francis Cook DNA project hosted by Family Tree DNA. When you follow the web link to the PFCS DNA website, this is what is presented. Some of the areas are public, and some are only available to those who are approved members of the Pilgrim Francis Cook Society DNA Project. To be a member of the PFCS DNA Project, you must have an active Family Tree DNA account, and you must be an approved member of either PFCS or the Mayflower Society, with an approved Francis Cook application. I will show the actual white DNA results information later in the presentation. My cousin, William A. Cook, has given permission to publicly share his kit number and any DNA results as well as his family genealogy 
in any presentation that references Pilgrim Francis Cook. He is a Mayfire Society member with a documented patrilineal line of descent from Francis Cook. Bill Cook did not need his YDNA test to prove his line. However, as we will de demonstrate, his test was very important for Francis Cook researchers now in the, and in the future. This is his dashboard for his kit at Family Tree DNA. We will go through several sections on his dashboard during the presentation. Bill Cook has two badges. One shows his confirmed haplogroup I-FGC57464 and one shows May Mayflower descendant. These are special badges awarded by Family Tree DNA for certain criteria based on his DNA test results and his surname Cook. I will say more about this later. When you take a DNA test at Family Tree DNA, you have the option to join different groups. Family Tree DNA has several thousand projects for surnames, geographic areas, and even for heritage groups. Cousin Bill Cook belongs to four groups, Cook, Francis Cook Society, Mayflower, and the I-M223Y HAP Group Project. These groups all have volunteer project administrators, and you can compare research with other members. Projects usually have some sort of criteria for joining the project. Let's look at the Y-STR marker report. This is the Y-STR or marker report for Bill Cook showing his first 37 marker values. He has more than 700 of these markers. However, we are only going to show the first 37 markers and values for simplicity and to introduce the concept of short tandem repeats or STRs. In this presentation, I will refer to YSTRs as markers. The values shown are determined by counting the number of sequences of the bases A, T, G, and C. For example, if a YSTR marker has three sequences of GATA, 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 as shown in the illustration by Debbie Parker Wayne, we will give that marker a value of three. For William A. Cook, the value for DYS393 is 14, meaning that that marker had 14 pattern sequences. You don't have to do any counting as Family Tree DNA does this for you. What is interesting is what we call the multi-copy markers. These are the markers in the YSTR panel that have more than one value separated by a hyphen. For marker DYS459, the values are 8-8-10. For marker DYS464, the value is 11-11-11 dash 13 dash 14 dash 15 and for marker cdy the value is 33 dash 33 dash 34 usually these would be only two values like 8 dash 10 11 dash 13 dash 14 dash 15 and 33 dash 34 for male testers this is one of the distinguishing items about the francis hook male direct line ystr test these numbers by themselves had no importance for Francis Cook family research until we found other males and tested them to see if they had these same marker values. I know this slide is a little busy. This shows the Francis Cook male testers in the PFCS DNA project with direct Y DNA lines to Francis Cook. This shows only 12 markers for now because 111 or 700 be a, would be a lot of numbers and kind of messy on the screen. We also introduced the concept of Y chromosome single nucleotide polymorphism or Y-SNP. What this indicates is, is that a certain specific position on the Y chromosome, a nucleotide changes or mutates from A to T as shown in Debbie Parker Wayne's illustration. 
You will note three kits have a HAP group or S&P color green called I-FGC57464. Remember that badge on Bill's dashboard. Wait, three kits show HAP group color red as IM223. What's up with that? It means one group was estimated by YSTR marker values by Family Tree DNA, and one was determined by advanced S&P testing. More on that later. All these men were named Cook or Cook with an E except for one. Five of the kits list the paternal ancestor's name as Francis Cook. One other concept to mention, all the testers with the same marker values running horizontal, horizontal have a genetic distance of zero, meaning they have no differences and are more closely related. The kit at the bottom has one difference in the marker numbers and would be a genetic distance of one and not as closely related. Now let's look at the Big Y Matches report. This shows the number of YDNA67 marker matches with William A. Cook at different levels across the horizontal line, including those who have done the Big Y700 test. At 12 markers, there were 138 matches, 9 were Cook. At 25 markers, there were 27 matches, 8 were Cook. At, at 37 marker level, there were 10 matches, 4 were Cook. At 67 markers, there were 5 matches with Cook. And 111 marker level, there were three matches with Cook's surname. This shows more markers you test, the better as far as isolating your surname. Participants with lower genetic distance numbers, noted as steps, are generally closer in relationship. However, the individuals with a genetic distance of 1 and 5 still share the same SNP, I-FGC57464. This indicates a comparison of YSTRs may not be the best indicator of closeness of relationship between two male testers. Next, we will look at the report called Hapatry and SNPs. This shows the bottom terminal Y SNP of the Hapatry at Family Tree DNA for William A. Cook and other Francis Cook male descendants. If you follow it upstream, it goes back to YSNP IM223, and then some further back to what we call YADAM. Next, we will look at the block tree on the big Y results. This is what Family Tree DNA calls the block tree, which is a different view of the Hapa tree. This shows the four big Y700 testers. Three are descendants of Francis Cook, and one is a descendant of Mordecai Cook of Mordecai's Mount in Gloucester County, Virginia. There are blocks of equivalent Y SNPs, and we don't know which one occurred before the others in the block. FTDNA just picks one as a branching variant or SNP for that block. The Mordecai Cook descendant is negative for all the SNPs below the block, starting with I FGC. 57458. Next, we will look at the Big Y 700 results report, which shows named, private, and matching variants or SNPs. This re results report gets you to the Y chromosome browsing tool. Here I type in FGC. 57464 under name variants or SNPs, and you can see there was a mutation from T to C. The next screen will show the output. This is a view of the values in the YDNA browsing tool, which shows that SNP FGC57464 is found on the Y chromosome at position 13945275. And there's a mutation from T to C. The number of C's extends below the screen I am showing. The number of C's read in each Big Y 700 tester descended from Francis Cook may be different. 
However, each of their Y chromosome browser reports will be like this. Under private variants or SNFs, Bill Cook has two private mutations named 5495315 and 5818182. These are shared by him only and not anyone else in the FTDNA database. Until another male tests positive for these SNPs, they will not be given a name and they will not show in the public FTNA database. Each of the Francis Cook male descendants have two private SNPs each. This shows the genealogical relationship between Bill Cook and the other Y-DNA testers in the project. His most recent common ancestor with RAC is George Cook born 1813 and his most recent common ancestor with DPS and EWC is Joseph Cook born 1790. These families were in Nova Scotia during those time periods and then some came back to the United States. The actual genetic relationship between them is half fourth cousin. The Mordecai Cook tester indicates his earliest known ancestor is a Norman Cook born 1360. However, this is speculative without any documentation provided. Some Mordecai researchers indicate the family may have come from Whitfield County, Suffolk, England, based on the arms noted in a 1923 book on the family by William Carter Stubbs. Bill's ninth cousin, JFC, is a genetic distance of four steps at the 67 marker level. At the 67 marker level of Y-DNA testing, the Mordecai Cook tester barely meets the criteria for a match at seven steps at Family Tree DNA. Testers who have a GD of greater than seven at this level of testing will not show in your Y-DNA match report. This graph was provided by David Vance. At the 111 marker level of Y-DNA testing, the Mordecai Cook tester barely meets the criteria for a match at 10 steps at Family Tree DNA. Here is a portion of the big Y700 block tree shown earlier. It shows the calculations using the shared SNPs in the group to determine how close the relationship might be between the three Francis Cook male descendants and the one Mordecai Cook tester. The time to most recent common ancestor, or TMRCA, is calculated to be about 1500 AD or a range of 1400 to 1600. The traditional genealogy indicates a birth date of about 1583 for Francis and about 1623 for Mordecai. So the date of the common ancestor is probably closer to 1400. Lucy Nelson annotated the big Y700 block tree from family tree DNA for me and indicated I could share the image. Really, we have a documented genealogical tree and what we thought we knew is now validated by the big Y700 and Y DNA evidence for Francis Cook is male descendants. In summary, we need to think of melding genealogy and genetics in relation to the Francis Cook male lineages. We have a genetic tree and a genealogical tree, and in this case, they are one and the same. For now, we run out of names at YSNP I-FGC57464, and now we know the next petro patrilineal direct ancestors are those above that terminal step for now. I will leave you with one example where Y-DNA testing clearly indicates two families are unrelated. This is a question sometimes posed on the internet and elsewhere. Is Josiah Cook 1610 to 1673 of the Plymouth Colony a son of Francis Cook. Y DNA results from the PFCS DNA project and the Cook Y DNA surname project 
clearly indicate they are not related because the two families are in completely different haplogroups. One group is I-FUC57464 and one is J-M172. This shows some of the sources for this presentation. I wish to thank those who have completed YDNA tests and have chosen to make their data public. I especially wish to thank David Vance, Lucy Nelson, and Debbie Parker Wayne for allowing me to use their digital illustrations in the presentation. This concludes the webinar part of the presentation.